Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ron Kalawan. If you haven't already done so, subscribe. And once you've finished watching this video, leave a comment and hit that like button and share, share, share. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Today I want to talk about how you cope with going viral. How, what do you do when you go viral? This is a little bit unusual because not all of us are going to go viral and there is no way necessarily to force going viral. You can't make yourself go viral. You can't make your content go viral. Um, going viral is basically a term that is linked to online contact be content, <laughs> online content being shared multiple, multiple times to a point of it, it takes on, you know, the content takes on a life of its own. It becomes no you know, notorious online, on social media. Uh, in this day and age, uh, viral content gets uh, picked up by the press and the media, okay? Mainstream press and media. So it's shared, 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 it becomes known. Especially if you are active online, at one point I'm sure you'll see a viral post um, either on Twitter, Facebook, even LinkedIn, Instagram. There are posts that go viral, they get shared on uh, numerous occasions, okay? Uh, as I said earlier, there's no way of necessarily forcing something to go viral. There are lots of uh, content creators, uh, influencers, uh, brands who create really good cool quality content. Not all of it goes viral, gets shared numerous uh, numerous times. But what it what what going viral does do, especially if it is content that you create, okay, what it does do is it allows this scope and width of shareability, I don't know if that's a weird word, but the fact that your content is being shared globally using modern technology, using social media means that there is a door and window of opportunity for your brand to get out there. So what I want you to do, if you ever find yourself in a situation or a position when one of your posts, your content that you create, so I'm not talking about a, a tweet that you you know, you you've said something and you've used a meme, an image or a gif and it gets shared lots of times, that's nice. But if it's content that's specifically to do with something that you're doing, something about your business, about your personal brand that you have created, okay? So for example, if you have become a meme, <laughs> if you become a little picture that's shared lots of times, you know, there's an expression, a facial expression or you've done, your business has done something or your, your business uh, for example, if it's a food business and you've created something, an image that is just, it blows up. You know, the image of this, this food item this is a really good example of a food item and the image gets shared across Instagram, it gets shared across Twitter. It's, you know, it's really, mm, it's wow, like everywhere. That, that organic sh sharing of your content. Well, the first thing you've got to do is make sure all your platforms are in sync, okay? Because what, one thing I will say is, really frustrating is when you see something go viral, particularly from a business, and you go on their website and it's it's not been updated, um, you don't really know, and it, it's not exciting, there's nothing else beyond that viral post, that image, that really reflects how good they are, you know? If, it's a, if you're an individual, so for example, if you create content, a video, or a podcast episode, or something, be consistent. If I go and look back, I, what you've been doing, I want to see that you are on this thing, whatever that thing might be. So if a piece of your content, a video goes viral, if I go back onto your YouTube channel, if I go and look for your podca podcast episode, are you consistent? Are you consistently uh, sharing? Will you continue to consistently share uh, what after that content has gone viral? Okay, so don't just rely and assume that that viral piece of content or image or whatever it might be is is it you gotta keep doing the work keep doing the work i'm gonna say it again keep doing the work okay but it's really exciting what i've seen from my uh experience in pr and the case studies that i've i've monitored the people who have done well from going viral have maintained their brand visibility they're consistent and they've created merchandise other things outside of that online fame or popularity. So I'm gonna use the example of the food picture. So for example, if uh, your picture's gone viral and people kind of go on your website, they can buy things that match up with that image. They can buy merchandise. Uh, if, a, if, for example, a founder of your business uh, or you are in music, or you don't have to be in music, 
if something you've said kind of turns into a bit of a jingle, merchandise it, merchandise a strap line, merchandise a strap line. So that could literally be notepads, t-shirts. I know this sounds like, wow, but if you have a strategy, strategy in place, you wanna strike while the iron is hot, okay? And make sure that everything that you're doing is in alignment with your current business practice. Yeah, so if it's a strap line that goes viral and it's linked to the content of your, of your website or you know your personal brand, it depends what has gone viral because there's so there's so many little elements now in our social media age that can go technically technically viral but literally it could be a statement it could literally be a strap line and you could create t-shirts with that strap line and sell them sell them within the with it literally i know it's going to sound like a lot of work but what did i say you've got to do the work sell them within that week or that month of it going viral because the world moves so quickly you've got to be ready okay you've got to be prepared Okay, look, if that's something you're not really interested in, if you don't want to merchandise, just make sure the, 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 the pieces of advice and guidance I gave you earlier are at the top of your list. Okay, be consistent, keep creating that content. Okay, eventually, because the world moves on, people do get tired, people might get bored. So you've got to keep fresh, you've got to keep things moving, keep things, um, keep things interesting. Okay, and keep things relevant. You know, once in a while, it could literally be by chance that something goes viral. Like I said, and that's literally what going viral uh, stems from. It can be by chance. Yeah, if it's, if it's by chance and you realise that, wow, your content suddenly out of nowhere is getting all these hits, still don't lose focus on how you can use this, 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 uh, this momentum to uplift your business and uplift your personal brand. But don't run away from it. Don't shy away from it. Use it. Use it, allow it to let your, your business brand shine, allow it to let you, if it's you as an individual, personal brand, let it, as the brand ambassador of your business or your service or your product, allow it to let your business shine and thrive and enjoy the moment. Enjoy the online fame. <laughs> if you've got any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below. I'll share a few links uh, with a bit more reading for you to do a bit more work when it comes to going viral. And yeah, share. Share, sharing is caring. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care, guys. Bye.